Progressing as quickly and efficiently as possible is easily the most desired thing that every Skyblock player strives to achieve. Whether it be so they can run the hardest dungeons or to fight the hardest Slayer bosses, you have to work your way up from nothing, and this can take a lot of time, money, and skill. Money is especially apparent here, because for your typical non-Iron Man player, where you put your coins will make a very significant role in how fast you progress. This is why it's super important to be making smart choices with your money, because the better you are at spending your coins, the faster or easier your progression will be. That being said, what even are smart choices with your money? What should you be buying to ensure your progression is optimal? These are some very important questions that every Skybook player asks at some point, but especially for newer players to this game, you likely won't have the answers. Luckily for you, that's precisely why I've made this video, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this ultimate guide to spending your coins in Hypixel Skyblock. First things first, I'm going to preface this video with a handful of important details before we jump into the main content for today. Firstly, I want to talk about video expectations. While this video is supposed to give you some pointers on where you can spend your coins, this is not supposed to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to play Hypixel Skyblock. This video is supposed to provide you with a handful of useful, general upgrades that you can go for in no particular order, which means that I'll leave the decision of when and how you want to purchase them entirely in your hands. It's crucial that as a Skyblock player, you are capable of making your own upgrade decisions based on the stage of the game you're at, because if you're constantly asking someone what you should do next and you're always seeking progression advice, then you might not as well even play the game anymore since you're just getting other people to do it for you. I will do my best to provide you with a list of useful upgrades that will keep you well informed, but it is up to you to take that knowledge and apply it according to your profile in the way that you think is best. Next, I want to talk about useless upgrades. This video is going to have a lot of specific recommendations for where you can put your coins, but this doesn't mean that these are the only options that you should be going for. At the end of the day, Hypixel Skyblock is a game just like any other, and as long as you're enjoying yourself and having a good time, that's really all that matters. If that means that you want to drop 100 million coins maxing out an aspect of the Jerry, then go for it, nothing's stopping you. Even though this really isn't going to help you speed up your progression in any way, if it provides you enough joy and ultimately allows you to keep enjoying the game, then that's more than enough to justify it as a worthwhile purchase. As long as you are well informed on what will actually help with your progression, then it's simply up to you to determine when and how you want to take action on that, if you're going to take action on it at all. And lastly, the final thing I'm going to cover is making mistakes. I see it far too often where Skybook players will ask hundreds of people the same questions. What should I buy next? What should I do with my profile? Can you tell me what to do on Skyblock? Once again, being well informed on what upgrades are considered worthwhile is important to note, but it's equally, if not more important, to make upgrades that aren't worthwhile. Spending your coins in ways that could be seen as a waste of money is good for your progression, because it provides you with an experience to learn from, so you can do better next time you're in a similar situation. People tend to get caught up so much on making the perfect decisions that they end up spending all their time researching and planning, but they never end up actually playing the game. It's kind of sad to see too, so don't get too caught up on making the best decisions, and instead, go out there and do what you think is best, because the only person who's playing Skyblock on your Minecraft account is you. But with that being said, that about covers it for this long-winded introduction. The rest of this video is going to cover the best and most important upgrades for every Skyblock player, as well as some common mistakes players make and bonus tips to help you along your Skyblock journey. Now that that's been cleared up though, let's move on to the next section of this video, what should you buy in Hypixel Skyblock? The first place I'd highly recommend you spend your coins on are minions. Minions are by far one of the most important aspects of Hypixel Skyblock, and I see far too many players neglect minions or simply not put enough time and effort into them. Start by acquiring as many minion slots as you can reasonably afford. If you've only been playing for a few weeks, then saving up for around 15 minion slots is quite reasonable. But if you've been playing for a few months, then you'll want to be shooting for 20 or even 25. 
Whatever the case, make sure you dedicate some of your coins into valuable minion upgrades, because these guys will pay themselves off over the course of a few months. In addition to generating you tons of free passive income, they can also boost your skills and the collections you don't want to manually grind if you do set them up correctly. I have a whole minion progression guide that details exactly how to do this in the most optimal way possible, so if that interests you, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Needless to say, another super important upgrade to go for are accessories, also known as talismans. Talismans not only provide you with a wide range of all sorts of cool stat boosts, but they also grant you a special stat called Magical Power, which you can access as long as you place your accessories in the accessory bag. This Magical Power stat is what determines the strength of your selected Power Stone, and Power Stones can be used to greatly increase your damage, intelligence, attack speed, and many more stats. As a result, it's crucial that you spend a lot of the coins you earn on increasing your Magical Power, because this will be the leading factor contributing to your success in this game. I also have a complete guide on talismans linked in the description of this video, so you can check that out if you need more information on that. That being said, the next thing I would recommend you spend your coins on are booster cookies. This is quite a different recommendation compared to minions or accessories, but booster cookies are a very important purchase that every Skybook player should be making once they've been playing for at least a few weeks. Booster cookies can be consumed by the player to grant the ability to gain bits as well as a range of different stat boosts. And these stat boosts will last you for 4 in real life days, and this number can be stacked by consuming more and more booster cookies. These stats will drastically improve your grinding efficiency, and even though the first initial cookie you purchase will make a huge dent to your bank, it's absolutely worthwhile once you're able to afford one. In the short term, booster cookies will be a relatively hefty expense since you will have a low fame rank, but once that fame rank increases and you start to gain more bits per cookie, you'll eventually be able to profit off of every one you eat. This will allow you to infinitely sustain cookie buff for as long as you play Skyblock for, letting you enjoy the buffs throughout your gameplay. For some bonus tips on profiting off of booster cookies, you can use the Skyhelper Discord bot to calculate the best items to sell using your bits. This Discord bot can be found in popular Skyblock Discord servers, and I'll leave a link to a couple of them in the description below. To use it, all you need to do is head over to a bot commands channel and type slash bits, and this will pop up with a prompt that shows you how many coins per bit you can get for every single bits item. Nonetheless, once you do have an active cookie buff, I'd strongly suggest pouring some good money into leveling your skills. You have two ways of properly doing this. You can either spend your coins on skill leveling minions, or you can spend your coins on an efficient setup to manually level the skill. If you're going to go down the minion route, then I'd suggest checking out the minion progression guide that I mentioned earlier, because that video will have more details on the best skill leveling minions and how to set those up accordingly. If you're going to go down the manual route though, then I'd suggest checking out my skill leveling guide that I've also left in the description. This video will equip you with all of the best gear setups depending on what stage of the game you're at, and it'll teach you the basic strategies to most efficiently grind each skill. Another area of your profile that you can also spend your coins on though, is leveling your Slayers. Slayers are easily a more overlooked aspect of Hypixel Skyblock, but especially in the earlier stages, they are extremely important for effective progression. Putting your coins into Slayers will unlock the requirements for various utility items, talismans, and other useful recipes. The best way to do this is to buy a solid weapon and armor set for non-dungeon content, and then grind out the highest tier of Slayer boss that you can reliably farm for the Slayers you're lacking in. I've also conveniently got a weapon progression guide linked in the description of this video, and once I have updated my armor progression guide, I'll make sure to link that one as well. That being said, arguably one of the most underrated yet surprisingly useful ways to spend your coins is on bank upgrades and your bank interest. At first glance, getting a maximum of plus 250,000 coins every 31 hours doesn't seem like that much money, but this adds up very quickly the longer you play Skyblock 4, and it serves as a very nice way to generate some passive income. Upgrading your bank will increase how much you can store in it as well, and how much maximum interest you can gain, which can further increase the passive income that your interest generates. 
It's also a good habit to keep a large sum of coins lying in your bank solely for the interest, because if you ever need to pull some money out for an emergency, such as a rare RNG drop from dungeons or a particular auction that you want to bid on, having that money there as a failsafe can come in clutch in the most unexpected situations. All in all, bank interest and upgrades are a heavily overlooked part of Hypixel Skyblock, and it's something you should certainly pay more attention to when you're looking to spend some money. Needless to say, one of my favourite places to spend some coins on is the museum. The museum is an excellent way to increase your skyblock level, which in return will grant you some very solid health and strength buffs. The museum also has its own set of unique miscellaneous rewards, but the skyblock levels it does provide are easily the main reason to fill it out. The museum also unlocks the Hex, a very useful quality of life feature that makes item upgrading incredibly easy, so filling out the museum also has other benefits that aren't just Skyblock XP. It's also a really good way to measure how far you've come in this game by giving you a centralized place to collect every major item on Skyblock, which in my opinion, it is super cool for people that like to collect things. Aside from the museum though, another great way to increase your skybook level and hence spend some more coins is by purchasing lots of pets. While it is important to have a solid damage pet for combat or a good farming pet to farm with, having a large assortment of pets in your pets menu also has its benefits. Having more pets increases your pet score, which in return grants you some extra magic find, but most importantly, you can also gain skybook XP from each unique pet you add. You also get extra benefits for adding higher rarity pets and level 100 pets to your menu, so looking to constantly upgrade your pets is a very good place to spend some money from time to time. I wouldn't really prioritize this as a main upgrade to go for, but if you have worked on some of the other things in this video and you're looking for extra ways to spend some money, the pets menu is a great way to do this. And for the final recommendation I'll be making in today's video, it's just going to be simple gear upgrades. This is probably the most obvious and likely the first thing you think of when you want to spend some coins, but I'd argue this is usually one of the least important things you need to go for when you want to spend your coins. While it can be good to upgrade your sword, armor, or beef up your enchants, hot potato books, recoms, and reforges, this usually doesn't make that big of a difference in the grand scheme of things, and you'd be better off with the other upgrades I talked about in this video. That being said, you shouldn't be avoiding gear upgrades entirely, but rather be strategic with when it's time to upgrade your gear, as you should only look to do this once you've run out of other places to upgrade your profile. Remember that gear is something that you will constantly be upgrading out of, while your skills, your talismans, or your museum upgrades will stay with you permanently. So focusing on permanent profile upgrades tends to be a better choice than a new set of armor that you'll replace in a couple of months. I will leave some links in the description to all of my armor and weapon progression guides though, so if you are looking to upgrade your gear, you can check those out for some further details. But now that I've covered what you should spend your coins on, I want to provide you guys with some miscellaneous tips to further help you with managing your money. In this section, I'll cover some common mistakes that people tend to make, as well as some useful tools and resources that you can use to help you when you're feeling a little bit stuck. For starters, a big thing that I see players spend their coins on are carries, whether it be dungeon carries, slayer carries, or even kudra carries. While carries can definitely save you a lot of time and oftentimes can be more cost effective than grinding things yourself, you lose every bit of experience that you otherwise would have gotten, and you're shortcutting progression in ways that will hinder your profile drastically. What ends up happening to players that do get carries is they don't actually know how to use the gear they got carried to, and as a result, they end up struggling to pull their weight in dungeons, unable to do slayers on their own, and it just causes a lot of discouragement to those players. I can't even begin to explain how many times I've seen people get carried to floor 5 by 3 quarters shadow assassin, and then when they try and do floor 5 on their own, they can't, so they end up going back down to floor 2 or floor 3, which kind of defeats the purpose of getting the carries anyways since you didn't need shadow assassin to do those floors. What then ends up happening to these players that end up in these situations is that they realize that they have to play through the content they got carried through anyways, so they end up giving up pretty quickly and they just move on to a totally different game. At the end of the day, the best thing you can do on Hypixel Skyblock is to quite literally just play the game. Even if it costs you twice the amount of coins or if it takes you five times as long, you'll learn a lot in the process. You'll also have a lot more fun doing so, and once you reach the bigger progression milestones yourself, you'll actually feel fulfilled and you'll be able to push for bigger and better things. 
Carries very rarely ever provide more benefit than just grinding the game out yourself, so for that reason, I would strongly advise against getting them. That being said, now that my little rant on carries is over, I've got a very valuable progression tip that I'd like to share with you today. If you've ever had that moment of doubt where you're thinking, God, what should I do next? Then your first instinct should 100% be to check your Skyblock guides. It's honestly so shocking how unknown this feature is, but the Skyblock guides carries progression so incredibly well by providing you with a little checklist of things to go for depending on what stage of the game you're at. You can find these Skyblock guides by opening your Skyblock menu, clicking on Skyblock leveling, and then pressing on the Skyblock guides button where a fancy menu will pop up for you to see. This menu has seven tabs at the top, splitting the game into new, very early, early, mid, late, very late, and end game, providing you with a wide range of different tasks that you can go for, depending on where you're at with your profile. This is easily the best place to go to when you've seemingly run out of things to do, because not only will it give you things to do, but clicking on them will actually take you to the Hypixel wiki page entirely about the thing you just clicked on. I cannot stress enough how unbelievably useful this feature is, so make sure you use it to its fullest when you play through this game. But with all of that being said, that concludes this full guide to spending your coins in Hypixel Skyblock. Hopefully you did find this video useful, informative, or enjoyable in some way, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'd like to quickly remind you that I've left a handful of useful progression guides in the description of this video, so be sure to check them out if you haven't already. Additionally, I'd also like to mention that I do offer profile reviews for my tier 2 channel members, so if you'd like to support me and gain some high quality personalized progression tips, consider becoming a channel member too. Since they are personalized, then they might help you out a little bit more than this video did, but either way, that is everything I had for today's video, so I'll see you all in the next upload.